at the moment to put the pressure on. There's perhaps one more slope after this, that steep kicker after you have the descent and you turn right and there's that steep that's going to be on him and I don't think he's going to have the legs to, to get rid of the likes of that. One of the riders from Israel, Premier Tech in fact. Wow. In fact, no, this from Pogacar, but also what a response on the wheel from Wout van Aert. He's not budging. A gap in an instant. That was some acceleration and fair play to Van Aert, he's stuck to his wheel. Hasn't dropped big, big effort here to try and distance Wout van Aert. But the first attack is caught, and you can see behind it, Adam Yates is responding. It's Van Aert, it's Bajoli, and it's Martinez. A quartet at the front, Adam Yates. There's a rider two from Azure Dezer. Imagine that's going to be Kuznefroy. You can see also that David Godu is in the line as well. What? There goes Yates. Stora is there too, and this now is Adam Yates. And two. But it's Pogacar who's trying to respond. I just think he left it a little bit late. You should look at him. And there was a gap opening up there. Fanart really has to work hard now. It's there with Pogacar on it. Now Fanart looks down. This could be the moment. It is the moment, I think. But Jolie's able to close the gap. It's, it's, it might well be Stora, you know. There was Godou and there was Stora there. What? Yeah, I think that's helping him. It's a Godou. It's there. But uh, that might help Walt Van Aert. I think he's coming back. I think there'll be five over the top here. It was a fantastic effort there from uh, Yates. But... I'll go back to saying that Pogat's having the legs to be able to do that, but uh, Walt Van Aert just about hanging on with the skin of his teeth. Pogacar, Adam Yates, Bajoli, Godu, and Van Aert. I think if nobody Any goes here, I don't think anybody will go to the finish. And still all five in one line. Classica San Sebastian, remember? So day races in Italy. As I mentioned earlier, he's been more a stage racer since then. He's been showing well in one-day races without winning one for five years. Pogaccio, well, he did rather well last year in the one-day races. He won two monuments. We know about Wild Fanat. Gordou has come close, hasn't he? With being on the podium in Liège. Great sights. Bardet. And here comes uh, Romain Bardet, being chased down by Mauro Schmidt. Last chance to try and jump across. I feel for Michael Matthews here because I, I was expecting him to be up there with the likes of these five who've gone away, but he obviously hasn't got quite a good of legs. Or perhaps the course has just been too tough for him. 35 seconds to close. I think it's tough at this point. For me, these five, they've gone. I think that's unclosable. Unless they start looking at each other and potentially Asking Van Aert to do more of the work, but 35 seconds with 5k to go. The winner's going to come from this group, in my opinion. And aside from that little rise after the rather famous... You know, if anybody tries to attack Walt Van Aert, will just go straight onto the wheel and close them down, because he'll know that he stands a very good chance of winning this. Whether he can finish it off, or well, he has been beaten this year already. Yates puts in a dig on Mont Royal. Maybe the man who could least trust his sprint among the five. And he's trying to shake them all. The minute, it's a job that he's not able to do. Pogacar just struggling to close the wheel. This is interesting. This is strong by Yates here. Just watch maybe for the opportunists coming from the back with the Godou. They're all at the, 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 the limit now, but Godou knows that if he goes over the top and they look at each other, there's a chance. But uh, Adam is looking strong here, but I think he's going to kind of leave it all out. That, that's all he can do. That's all he can do, 100% up here, and he wasn't able to crack them. Aliotti in the centre here, Schmidt just anchoring the group. And there was just a little bit of a hint there, that the biggest gap between any of the riders came behind Pogaccia, now it is Gordou, well spotted, Bryant. That's all he can do, but Walt Van Aert is going to close this down, and um, now Adam Yates is with Baggioli and... Pogaccio, they'll come back, but uh, that was a huge effort there from, from Adam Yates. Paying for it a little bit at the moment, but Godou, he knows that our faster sprinters here, and that's all he can do. Pogaccio does close the gap. Godou's little effort. Close down what's at the by Wild Fanart. 
Bacioli played a game there. He knew he was on his limit there, and um, Bogacar closed the gap, but he sat on Yates. Might be enough just to let him recover a little bit more. We're into uh, the, the last two kilometres now, and, you know, with that kind of dog leg back up to the finish. But I knew Walt Van Aert, he tremendous effort he made on that climb. Was getting dropped over the top, came back, knows he's in with a great chance of winning here, but it's not over because, you know, there's a couple of riders in here that have good, good finish. That's early for me. He's playing such a cagey game. And as you say, Brian, discount him at your peril at this stage of the race. I think everyone's looking at Wout Van Aert in the sprint, but bajoli has got such a strong kick. And he's missed some good turns here at the back, getting some good rest in as we approach a and a half to go. Van Aert was just on the radio as well there. They see the start-finish line on the right-hand side. They're about to go under the one-kilometre-to-go banner. Over this little peak beyond the red kite, it's a fast, fast approach to that 180-degree turn. From there, the race and the route kicks uphill. It's Wart Van Aert, the winner of the green jersey at the Tour de France. It's Tadej Pogacar, the two-time winner of the Tour de France. And last year, Liege, Baston Liege winner. In terms of altitude meters, number of climbs, length of race, not quite, but almost. This is very, very similar. Adam Yates, the former winner in Saint Sebastian. Bad Jolie, who won a hard stage in Catalonia this year around Mondrique. And David Godu. he's been on the podium before in Liège. Star riders. They'll have been racing for six hours as Gordou goes on the inside, looks around. It's he who puts the pressure on the pedals, but it's still tentative. They look around, they zigzag. Pogacar in the white and black. Fanart on paper the fastest, but we've been racing for 220 kilometers. Adam Yates, who put that last attack in, he's at the back there. Bad Jolie, look out for him. They have the gap. David Gordou inside the final 300 metres. It's Pogaccio who's being close to chase this one down now. Gordou, though, comes up to the line. Gordou still has a small gap, but Pogaccio is gaining. Look out for Watt for not coming around him, though. Bajoli's there, too. It's Pogaccio who's at the front for not trying to get around. Pogaccio's still there, though. Pogaccio's going all the way. And Tadej Pogaccio is back to winning ways for the first time since the Tour de France. My frame. The line was. But not just going to get on turns with him. Telltale sign when uh, Walt Van Aert sits down. He sat down a couple of times there. He, he, he knew he was in a bike race there. And um, But at the end of the day, you know, God do kind of helped a little bit there. Pogaccio, he rushed into the uh, slipstream and Pogaccio was that little bit stronger in the end.